Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Patet de Strong. Uh, welcome to me um, live stream. I'm um, watching the uh, the Liverpool versus uh, Fulham game. So uh, let's um, get right to it. So far, uh, good start. Good start. Uh, like the uh, the four three three formation that Klopp has done as well. Like it that he starred Thiago. That's uh, really good. Nice pass from Van Dijk. Oh, get out of the box, get out of the box. This looks dangerous. <sighs> Come on, lads. We can't be not be messing about in the box that early in the game. We cannot mess about. Just don't know what the hell happened there. Poor giveaway. Poor, poor. Nice, Matty. I like it that uh, Matip is in centre back. He is so underrated, um, ladies and gentlemen. So underrated. Like he just not gets the um, the requirements that he wants. You know, just like the praise that he gets. You know, he's a really good centre back. He, he's well improved for Liverpool lately. Um, Joe Matip. That's it, nice. Switch up the play. Robber with a bit of a poor pass there. Like, he was aiming for Diaz, who for me has had an amazing start for Liverpool, uh, Luis Diaz. But uh, quite surprised he started um, Firmino. Um, I thought he would have started off uh, Darwin, Darwin Newis, but. Uh, but with me, like, um, personally, I think, um, um, for me, you know, it's better in a, in a central attack mid. Well, that's close. They just nearly attacked us in the box again. And, um, uh, is that a goal kick or corner? Oh, we're trying to say it's kind of offside. Saying that one of the Fulham players uh, was, yep, offside. One of the Fulham players was offside. Yeah, so this is uh, something I'm going to be trying new with me, uh, with me Twitch channel. So we're going to start, uh, if I am um, free to watch these uh, Liverpool games, I'm going to start like uh, live streaming myself, reacting to these um, Liverpool games live. So uh, this is something new that's going to do to my uh, going to do to my channel. And um, if you've missed any of these, it will be what it will be uploaded to my uh, YouTube channel, which is the LNW Entertainment Show. So you can see all my live reactions on that as well. Yeah, Thiago just got fouled. I really like Thiago, like brilliant player. Like, um, like loads of people just like debated him, you know, like saying he's too slow for the game, his passing is too slow. But for me, I think he's been brilliant towards the tee, and his passing is just brilliant. Uh, his first game was ninety-seven percent pass accuracy. On his first game with Liverpool. Oh, right idea. Right idea that was. Nope, too easy for our goalkeeper. Uh, 
Holland just has stopped uh, Liverpool's uh, counter attack. Yes, well done, Matty. Well done. Great defended. Be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, Fulham's got a it's got a corner. So there's um, Matty with the ball. Oh, what a pass from Tiago there. Oh, right idea, Tiago. He was aiming for... Uh, Mo Salah on the right wing. Unlucky Thiago. Anyone's like uh, watching the stream, like welcome. Uh, feel free to put anything in the chat. Feel free. Your your thoughts on the game or or, or on the players? Anything. Look at that for Matip again. Brilliant defending for Matip. Oh, lucky Salah, let's, let's Diaz. Oh. Nice Henderson, nice, good tackle. There was a part where um, Salah and Luis Diaz nearly won the ball mid-air, but just got a bit unlucky there. That's it, Matt. That's it. Don't dive early. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Someone get to him. Let's get to him. Not really a good shooting position for the Fulham player there, but easy enough for Allison. But look at this, like, ooh, could have been slightly offside if that went to VAR for the Fulham striker. That could have been a, a VAR offside check, but um, he was given way too much space, and no one wasn't really marking him or not getting him closing him down. Had way too much space. Okay, Anderson, good chasing the ball there. Fulham has done got a good start here. Oh, that was risky, Robbo. That was risky. Headed it, uh, could have gone uh, either way there, but lucky he went out for a throw. <laughs> Yeah, good clearance by Van Dyke. Not really a good cross from a um, from a Fulham player, but it would, um, not a good cross at all. Oh, great tackle, Thiago. Support just a. Ball, just a Poor pass for uh, through ball.
That's it. Well done, Salah. Kept the ball there. Was quite uh, pressured there, um, Salah. Nice to kept the ball, but um, tell you what, Fulham are doing quite well. They're like really um, putting pressure on the Liverpool players. They like, putting on some good pressure here. Like that, like Liverpool just like hardly got any time on the ball. Oh, unlucky for me, yeah, he kept that well. Oh, so far going to the possession, Fulham's had thirty percent of the ball, and Liverpool's had seventy percent possession. So, so Liverpool has more possession at the moment, but um, really haven't done anything with the ball lately. Oh, trying to call for an offside. That's it, Trent. Don't dive in, Trent. Oh, good defending, Robertson. Good defending. Doesn't look happy about something. What a manager he has been, Klopp. What a manager. I mean, I can just see this Premier League season. I know it's like this is the first game and it's just open start, but um, I think it's definitely going to be another tight, close race between Liverpool and Man City. It's going to be such a close race between them two teams again. Oh, what a pass to, to um, Trent there. What a pass. Lovely switch. Oh, go on, Diaz. Nice, Ike. Oh, very nice. It was a lovely uh, link between uh, Thiago Diaz and Robbo there. Lovely 2-1. Here we go, Firmino's on. Oh, go on, Robbo! Oh, oh, go on, Diaz. Go on, Diaz! Yeah! Oh, it's offside. Oh, offside. Oh, it was a lovely goal by Diaz. A lovely play by Liverpool as well. Oh, who was offside? Robertson, yeah, he is so offside, Robertson. Yep. Brilliant goal from Luis Diaz. A brilliant goal, an absolute curler, but, um, but during the pass, uh, Robertson was offside. And rightfully he was, he was, he was miles offside. There we go, that's a good start. So Liverpool has found a way to uh, to break through uh, Fulham's defence right there. So, oh, here we go, Matt does one of his runs. Very nice. Oh, Salah's through. Lucky Salah. Oh, I can't believe that. Offside, man. Offside. If Robertson just stayed on side, then that's 1 0 already. And that would have counted as a really brilliant goal for Luis Diaz. It was a brilliant goal. Oh, lucky Sally, trying to win that back then. Wow, 
Well, Luis Diaz just got absolutely taken out. You better not be fucking injured. Well, the referee's carried on the game and let the play the advantage. Yep, yellow booking for a fallen player. For uh, Teti. Yeah, just nowhere near the ball. Absolutely took out Diaz there. Uh, Kenny Tieti just got um, yellow carded. Not bad cross. That's a nice deal. It's unlucky, unlucky. But you can clearly see what uh, Fulham is doing. They're having two players, uh, like two defenders or like two players on our uh, strongest players. So they've, they've definitely like have got a good defense plan. Nice Salah. Crossing from Trent. See, some people think that uh, Trent should be uh, should be a, uh, a right mid or a right centre mid there and then a right back because his crosses are incredibly insane. Oof. Are incredibly insane, but like me personally, I think he will be better as a right mid. Trent, but the question is so like who like who can go and right back as a replacement but where would you put uh, other plays if he goes to the right centre mid Ooh. Tiago wasn't sure where to pass the ball and they pass it to uh, to Virgil. Oh, good ball from Henderson. Oh, lovely ball from Trent, but just a bit too much for Henderson to keep up. Unlucky Henderson. That was a really good pass from Trent. That was a lovely through ball to uh, to Henderson who was off who was on side. So that was on very that was very unlucky there for Henderson. But if that was like Salah or anyone else with pace would have got that ball easily. Good tackle, Virgil. Now, it seemed like a very, very interesting video of uh, of Virgil Van Dijk, like how he defends against uh, play in you know, a very fast players. And he does, and what he does really good is like I play uh, football myself. I'm a defender. Me, I play left back, centre back, but I can play like mostly any position but I'm really good as a defender. Um I've seen like a really good video of Virgil van Dijk of of him um defending against like fast players. 
Oh, Robbo's in the box. Good crossing. Salah was there ready for the, for the shot, but defend, great, w w greatly defended by a Fulham defender. Um, anyway, yeah, so how he defends against fast players is um, he gets them on their weaker foot and he keeps them like that and he tries to make sure that um, his, other set, his other defenders, you know, like catch up and he makes sure that the, the fast runner go to the side. We'll go crossing. Oh, a good sal, a good, a good um header from Salah, but just missed the target. A lovely good cross again from Trent. Salah all on his own, just o overheads the um the ball. Nah, nothing in that. Just just pure strength from Matip. And then we've got another good cross again from Robertson. If Defender wasn't there. Salah definitely would have got a goal there. Yeah, so Van Dijk like keeps um, the fast runner like on his on his weaker foot and keeps him to the side. Oh, and he's just fouled a player, Virgil Van Dijk. Um, and lets his defenders catch up. What he doesn't do is he doesn't jump early or anything like doesn't like stick a foot in because if you stick a foot in against a fast player, you either going to tackle them and give a foul or you or they're just gonna be, they can miss and just easy say goodbye. So you just best like stand them up and just keep them a week of foot. So I tried that myself and tell you what, it actually does work. It's like a really good uh, defensive technique if uh, in foot footballers or defenders against like fast wingers or fast strikers. Ooh. Clear it. Oh, Fulham just had a shot. Fulham just had a shot. But uh, missed the target. I mean, one of them got a header, but uh, totally missed the target. Oh, no, it was blocked. Uh, blocked by Matip. Another good defending again. There you go, Salo did a very good clearance. Well, it might have been Trent. Yeah, full and player offside. Yeah, <laughs> miles outside the the full and player. Do apologise, ladies and gentlemen, for that yawn. Yeah, foul on on Fabinho. Oh, I love a good two to one pass in there. I love it how sometimes the the commentators they they always mix up uh, Fabinho and Fabinho's name. Like, it's happened a couple of times where a commentator of accident is called Firmino Fabinho. It's kind of funny. That was a poor through ball. Poor. Nice Fabinho. Oh, what a lovely touch from Robbo and a great uh, switch pass from Trent, but just a poor pass from uh, from Robbo and uh, Luis Diaz just fouled. Showing a clock burst sitting on a on a 
one of those uh, drinking Kool Aid boxes. He's either not going to be happy with the performance of this first half or something. Really, Liverpool hasn't done anything. They've got um, a first good goal, like a good first attack that led to the, uh, a goal, but sadly offside. But really, Liverpool have, hasn't really attacked. Uh, well, that's definitely a foul. Uh, hasn't really attacked uh, Fulham's box, really. You know, that they haven't really tested the Fulham goalkeeper. See, Luis Diaz is so good. It's just so good. Yeah, it was a bit... Uh, God said that uh, Mane left Liverpool. So I thought he was really enjoying himself at Liverpool. It was a brilliant left wing for us. Oh, nice Salah. Okay, Liverpool's got a corner. Liverpool's got a corner. Henderson had a shot, but it was blocked. To me, he could not go for the ball because he was offside. And uh, Fulham on a quick counter attack, but uh, Robbo was there to stop the counter attack, which was really good. Fulham now has got a corner. Side netting. You have goal kick to Liverpool, hit the uh, Fulham player left. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologise for these yawns. I do apologise. <laughs> I'm so yawning. I do apologise, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Sal has been quite quiet. Oh, that's a terrible player, is Matip. Oh, good block, good block. That was that definitely would have been a goal for Fulham. Oh, Robbo, just get rid of it. Robbo, too much dribbling there. Just didn't even fucking clear the ball. Oh, it's Robert with a really good block. See, if Robert didn't block that uh, that shot, definitely would have um, been a goal for uh, for Fulham. It was a very good strike. But 
for Robertson giving away the ball. Uh, just so wrong. It's just, just no. Henderson's down. Uh, ref, you're going to stop the game. Henderson is down. No, okay. Oh, no way. Fulham has scored. They have scored. But there was a, there was a tackle on, uh, on Henderson. So I wonder if VAR is going to check that. There was an actual foul on um, on Henderson. So I'm wondering if VAR is going to look at that, but bullshit. I mean, no reaction from Klopp. So you can see Henderson is down, injured. You, know, you can see he's down, injured, and carries on the game. So I'm wondering if, if VAR. Is going to check that for a possible foul. But now Trent not doing his job in, in the right back. A way easy header for, for the Fulham winger. Oh, come on, Trent. Trent didn't even jump. He let. He just literally let the player overpower him. Outstrengthed him. Fucking hell. The question is, are they VR checking the uh, the, the possible foul on Henderson? Yeah, it's a clear foul. He's totally stood on his uh, his tire foot. That's a foul. So I wonder if VAR is going to check that, and it could possibly check a, a possible offside as well. So quite a few things uh, VAR's got to check, actually. Either a possible foul or, the, or, or possible offside. So I wonder if the VAR is checking all that, but Klopp's like laughing and smiling. If, if, if they're not checking it, what are they? No. It's a goal to Fulham. It's a goal. No check for no VAR check for um, for a possible a uh, possible offside. No VAR check for um, a, a foul on Henderson. It was a clear foul on Henderson. Bullshit. So already Liverpool just got screwed. Well, it doesn't matter though, guys. I. Like, Liverpool has always like has won the most last season they won the most games uh conceded in the first half so oh nice two one pass in there between Firmino and Henderson Uh, 
That's the disgrace that is. Oh, what a ball for... Oh! How did Diaz miss that? What a great cross from Robertson, but... Oh, how did Diaz not score that? A wonderful um, switch to Robertson. Great cross. Oh, lucky Diaz. That was a really good play. Oh. That definitely needed a goal for man, Diaz right there. Nice. The pass is getting better now. This 2 1 passing. Thiago tried to do an overstep. But just got easily tackled. Probably we're going to see Darwin in the uh, second half. That was very risky, Allison. September is the Merseyside Derby on the 3rd of September. And I think it's like uh, two weeks on Monday, it's uh, Manchester United versus Liverpool. Oh, go on, Salah. Come on, Salah. Go on, Diaz. Oh, hit the crossbar! Hit the crossbar, go on! Hit the crossbar, what a shot from Diaz, it hit the crossbar. How unlucky this man can get. Oh, just hits the bar. Great strike, but oh, hit the bar. Nice. Come on, Fabinho. That's how I was on the run. We've got to do a better pass than that. Diaz, come on. If that's a... F yes, it's getting a foul to Liverpool.
Go on, take your time, Fabinho. Go on, Salah. Nice. Come on, Firmino. I'd say he's completely surrounded there, Firmino, and not couldn't do really anything. Just got surrounded. Okay, the referee's blew his whistle for something or a handball. Yeah, Trent uh, handballed it. Nice, Tiago. Lovely. That's really good strength. Well, Liverpool hopefully can get a goal in the next two minutes here, whatever extra time. Sam, I couldn't really go to that ball. He was offside. Get the fuck onside. Oh, good block, Matty. Great block. Nice Diaz, go on, get up, get up, get up. Good recovery, Diaz. Oh, what a touch from Trent and a lovely pass from Thiago. They got two minutes extra time. Headed it right at the goalkeeper instead of like heading it near the, the middle of the box. That's too easy for the goalkeeper, way too easy. Should have headed it near the box. Well, in the second half, hopefully the uh, Liverpool can get goals in the second half. It's been quite embarrassing losing the first game. Nice, good to the one passing. Oh, well 
John Fabinho. Showing the highlight of the goal, which shouldn't be a goal because there was a foul on Henderson. So that should not be a goal. There was a foul on Henderson. <laughs> That's it, half time. Uh, no, but the first half not bad. They can do a bit better. It's like they haven't really pressured the the box that much and not really test the goalkeeper that much but um I mean the two to one passing not gonna lie very good the two to one passing and and defending is is alright but um but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be better though because I can't believe that they pushed down one nil uh, but very, but it was a very good goal from Diaz. You know that was a very good goal. Uh, not going to lie. Uh, but it's just a shame that uh, uh, Robertson was uh, was offside during the um, the play. So that was like really uh, just just bad luck there. Well, oh, next Saturday is uh, Aston Villa versus Everton, uh, Gerrard versus Lampard. But so far in the, in that first half, I think uh, Salah was kind of quiet in that in that match. It hasn't really done much. Um, Salah in in nor has Firmino. Neither have done much. Like so far, it's been Luis Diaz with um. Three got with three shots on target. One that did go in, but Robinson was offside, and then you had one that he hit the post, and then a header. But yeah, but Salah also got a header as well. But I think that's about it. What Salah has done in the game, but uh, for, but Fulham has definitely have done their homework with defending because. Liverpool are not getting that much time on the ball, and uh, they're not getting that fast pace that Liverpool wants so it's a fair use to follow at the moment um, keeping up the, the defence to stop Liverpool getting those those fat the fast pace that Liverpool was known for but it's just um, crazy but, but, but there's still there's still a second half so hopefully we can see what happens in the uh, the second half But what this caused the first goal was was Trent didn't really Trent got like overpowered, like overstrengthed by by the player, like he just got completely out strength and didn't really make a jump for the the ball or anything, so completely got um, outstrengthed by by the Fulham player, by the goal scorer, so So probably in the second half, I think Klopp, I think he's going to put on Darwin over Firmino. And it was me probably try out, but he's probably going to put either Harvey Elliott on or that, um, the new the new uh, midfielder that we bought, he might um, put him on. Because uh, Carla... To apologise, uh, I think it's the the Calavaro or the the Fabio guy. Like hopefully, um, 
he uh, comes on and say, but because then we've got quite a good, quite got a good, good bench. So that will look. Here we go. Uh, Fabio Carvalho. Yeah, so here's the new midfielder that we bought. So let's see what. Um, uh, hopefully, he, he will keep him in the table. And he's. Um, we got him from Fulham. So, next Fulham player. Don't think I didn't see Jota on the bench. Actually, I did not think I didn't see Jota on the bench at all. No. No, um, Jota on the bench, so we can't, um... <clears throat> put uh, Diego Jota on. He's not in the bench. On the bench, we've got a Steph, a Steph fan, a Steve fan, a Darwin, Seth Van der Berg, Adrian Milner, Luke Chambers, Gomez, Fabio, and Harvey Elliott. So I'm wondering if um, could uh, he be injured, uh, Diego Jota? Yeah, Diego Diego Jota. Uh, yeah, he's injured. Shit. See, that for me is definitely a foul. Like they're they're going through the um, the first goal, and they definitely just showed um, the circle of Henderson being fouled. So really, because I don't know why VAR did not check that 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 was a foul. So look, Trent's not even looking where, so he had no idea he was there. So that's why Trent did not jump at all because he had no clue that a per, that the the, per, the footballer was behind him. He didn't even have a clue. Too busy um, ball watching. He had no idea there was a man behind him. Yeah, they're going over it, probably saying that is a foul.
Well, definitely, uh, Luis Diaz has definitely had the most chances. So, just hopefully, uh, Clock can just wake him up a bit in the second half. And hopefully, Liverpool can get something out of it. Well, I think probably in the probably the second half, I think Klopp's definitely going to swap probably Diaz, uh, Firmino for Diaz. The midfield, I don't know, probably Henderson for the for Fabio, maybe, maybe a swap there for um, Henderson for, Fab, for Fabio. I can't really see like the others, like Luke Chambers and the others, because I'm not sure um, how they. I've never seen them played yet, but um, Milner might be good because he's got the, the strong, aggressive pressure play. We'll just see how it gets on in a uh, second half. Just, but I, I'm still like annoyed and disgraced that. Uh, Fulham's goal was allowed and you can clearly see there was a fucking foul right on Henderson so it's oh, it's just us like they should have like asked for it like, asked for the VAR the Liverpool players or Henderson saying look I've got fouled can you VAR check that and disallow the, uh, dis disallow the goal nothing it's just absolute bullshit it's just mad that how some sometimes in football like some of the tackles don't get VR checked. It's absolute bullshit. But I just hope for this season with the VAR, what I like them to do is like when you watch like the Premier League, it shows the show they put us on the, what they're looking for on the VAR. I don't know why in the Champions League and other stages they don't show the VAR. They just leave, you know, uh, people guessing and all that. So people got no idea, all the players guessing what's going on. It's just so stupid. You know, I think they need to change that. Um, and what would be nice is, I like, if you look at like what rugby does. Um, indoor hockey does and I think cricket does it as well I think uh, but it's definitely rugby and indoor hockey where um, you can hear the referees uh, mic and you can hear what the referee is saying and what is and what other referees are saying as well and you know what and then people at home and know what's going on I wish they can do that with football so you know uh, what's going on because when you've got uh, the VAR going and you can't hear what the referee is saying or you haven't got the video footage, it just leaves you completely blank. I don't know whether they're doing it for like suspense or you know keep the suspense going, but it's, it's not suspense at all. It's just confusion, really.
Uh, looks like second half is nearly going underway. Right, Liverpool definitely need to have that uh, the fast pace that they're known for in the second half just to get to get this game back. Okay, second half is on the way, so um, whew, let's hopefully uh, they, 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 they can do it well. Let's see if um, Salah can get more involved in the second half. Because maybe in the first half, he didn't have that, that much involvement in the first half. Uh, Mo Salah. Like his only uh, moment in the first half was the header, really. Nice dike, nice one. There we go, Virgil. Now, what a good song that is. He can pass the ball. Watch him. He can pass the ball. He's our number four. He's Virgil van Dijk. He's Virgil van Dijk. What a great song. But when um, Darwin um, scored um, the goal in the Community Shield, you should have seen the, ch the, the loud chant the Liverpool fans have given to him. It was uh, incredible. Go on, Thiago. Nice. Well done, Matty. Well done. Good pace. But a terrible clearance from Allison. Terrible. Just give it straight back to the Fulham player. He was aiming for uh, Trent Alexander Arnold, but just terrible. So come on, Diaz. Oh, he tried to use his pace. But Diaz's pace is insane, absolutely insane. It's quite nearly on par with Mane and uh, and Salah. So if it's one with Thiago. Oh, 
God, don't tell me Thiago's injured. Yeah, it looks like Darwin's coming on. And Harvey Elliott. Shit. Tiago better not be injured. Bit like something wrong with his calf. Tiago will be all Tiago will be all right. Yeah, Firmino's coming off as well. But he will swap um, Firmino for Diaz. That's it, Darwin is on. I think I accidentally said Firmino for Diaz, that's wrong. I meant to say uh, Firmino to, uh, uh, for, uh, so Firmino for, for Darwin. <laughs> but it's a shame we've lost um, Thiago, bollocks. There he's offside. Massively offside. There you go. Liverpool has won five games because when conceding first, draw five and only lost two out of twelve games. So it's a good chance here. That's it, Trent. Keep, put, put the show on. Nice. We've got ourselves a corner. Well done, Trent. One and a half to sh oh, offside anyway. Would have been offside anyway. Ooh, that would have been a very close call. I think that would have been a very close call. VR check that. That looks very close.
past Virgil. Oh, this is a good cross. Oh, well done, Salah. Keep it. Salah kept it in play. Oh, nice skill from Harvey Elliott there. Oh, and he fucking tripped over. Oh no. Fulham are on two on two here. Oh, there's good defending from Virgil Van Dyke. But Holly just had a, a fucking um, mare there with the trip. I think Harvey Elliott is a very lucky man there. Oh, lucky Harvey Elliott. I want to get ball from Trent. Oh, for fuck's sake, Henderson. Where the fuck is the let this divide back? Good block for being here. Good thing you're there. Trent nowhere to be seen. That's a problem with Trent is sometimes he's nowhere to be seen. In the right back. And sometimes Wobble can be like that. Nowhere to be seen in the left back. We're just not getting these food balls right. We're just not getting them right. Fulham just nearly just scored again. That just hit the bar. Hit the post, the uh, bottom left post. Just nearly scored. Look at that. Robbo nowhere to be seen. He's got all time and space to score that. All time and space. That is way too much space. Way too much. Well, it's a corner, so it took a, uh, a reflection of someone, but, uh, but fucking hell. Go on, Salah. Pull past some Salah. Well, a Fulham player has gone down. Oh, Milner's coming on. So he's not going to put any of the new players on. He's swapping Fabinho, who's had a really good game. But haven't they, but I don't know, confirmed, because there was talks about um, they were going to do uh, five, they're going to allow five um, substitutes. Oh, what a tackle! Come on, Salah! Come on, that's got to be a goal. Shoot! Why didn't you shoot? Decided to try to shit out of it, but this isn't going for the shot. 
Oh, uh, why did he not shoot? He had time and space for it. Why did he not shoot? I've got interception there. Look. I can't believe that. Why did he not shoot? Even Clot knows it. Like, shoot. Uh, let's go to one there. Oh, that had to be a goal. Go on, Milner. I said we're really starting to pressure. Um, oh, that was a lovely skill move there from a Fulham player. Give him credit for that. It was a lovely skill move. But uh, that's it. Liverpool are attacking in Fulham's box a bit more now. Ah. Lockie Darwin. A nice play from Salah. Onside. Yeah, all onside. And Darwin trying to try to do a cheeky goal. Throw bollocks. Oh, good tackle, Matt. It. I apologize for that noise. Whoa. Oh, Salah's on. Go on, Salah. between um, Salah and Darwin. Get in! That's it. one all now, guys. Game on. Game on now. Great goal. Need to see what happens. I'm too busy sorting my camera out. Yeah, he's definitely on side. Lovely ball, all onside, yeah. Every player is onside. Every player is onside. It's a cheeky flick, he did a cheeky flick. Very nice, lovely shit house goal. Look at that, doom. Back heeling it. Like a cheeky chop back heel. Here we go, one all, game on guys. Oh, they, oh I think they were checking uh, VAR for, uh, for offside, but no, they're all on. I think 
that they were checking was was he was on side, but he is. He, he's clearly on side. Fulham just made their uh, their first change. Here we go, lads, ladies and gentlemen. One all. Come on, one all. Play like that again. So second half. This is better. Oh, what a ball to Salah. What a touch. Oh, nice. Come on. Come on, Salah. There you go. Salah's getting a bit, bit more lively now in the second half. He's getting a bit more lively. So now he's causing problems. Uh, ref, you're gonna book him for wasting time. Oh, come on, Diaz, come on! Oh, no one there in the box. It was go it was going in goal. It was on target, but no one there in the box to her to do the follow up. Uh, clear by a defender. Why? Uh, but there was someone there in the box. There could have been really good follow up there. Well played. Oh, come on, Elliot. Oh. Good play from Harvey Elliott. Oh! Tells a different story, actually. He hit um, the centre-back's foot, which gave Darwin enough, uh, a, um, the right angle to hit it. So, actually, it was a bit of reflection from, from following the centre-back. It just showed in slow motion how the goal happened. It looked like a cheeky flick from Darwin, but slow. He actually hit the centre back's foot, and then it it got in the right air enough for Darwin to to hit the ball to go into goal. What a pass from Matip. Oh, what a ball. Come on, Milner. Oh! Oh! Good play again by, by Liverpool. Great play again. Lovely through ball pass from Salah to Milner. Good header from Dar um, yeah, from Darwin. And then Diaz uh, takes a strike, but uh, just def but got defended. So it's a corner. Oh, what a ball from Trent. That's it. Oh, offside anyway. Oh. He was offside. Salah. Salah was offside. So if that went in, or he Salah passed it to one of the players and went in goal offside.
That was a poor pass from Matip. Now Fulham play is on now. Oh, great. He's given a penalty? Shit! Oh, my, the referee is giving Fulham a penalty? The referee is giving Fulham a penalty? No way! Need to see the replay. Is this a penalty? Yeah, it's a penalty. Van Dijk didn't get the ball at all. Clearly took out the man. It's a penalty. Shit. And let's VAR say something else. Oh, Virgil, man, on your first day. I think VAR is checking it, whether it's going to be... Ooh, maybe not. It may look like a dive, actually. No, it is a penalty. Oh, come on, Alison. Come on, Alison, save this. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I said 2 1 to Fulham. Now Liverpool's got 18, 20, uh, yeah, 18 minutes to, uh, to come up with something. Shane, though, Alisson went the right way, he went the correct way. But it's a good penalty, nice and uh, uh, nice and low and, uh, and fast as well. That's it. Liverpool needs to get two goals in eighteen minutes. Oh, so what caused what to give away that penalty was? Matip did a poor pass and it led to the Fulham striker to be to go one on one that's of course it was a bad pass for Matip Talk offside anyway. For f Let's see how far he was offside. Miles offside, and you take fucking forever to call it. That is such a stupid offside rule. Like, let the play carry on, even though you can clearly tell them that the way offside. If the, if the fucking offside referees know. The players are way offside. Call it. Don't make it carry on. It's so stupid. Such a bad rule. And I totally get it. If like if 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 it was fifty fifty, you don't know whether the play was onside or offside. Then yeah, let the play continue and then let VAR. Um, check it if it you know if it's a goal, 
I totally get that, but if you can clearly see a player is is way offside, call it. Oh, Sal just got dicked. Nice, go on. No one there, unless that was a shot. Unless Don was taking a shot. No, it was definitely a cross, but no one there. Nobody there. Oh, they are allowing uh, five substitutes in the Premier League now. They are allowing five. So it is confirmed, you can do five substitutes. Because the new player, Fabio, 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 is coming on. We'll just hope that he can make a difference in the midfield. Oh, it's Diaz off. I would have took Henderson off and keep Diaz on. Oh, that's a good ball. Come on. No, one of you. One of you. Oh, that, this Fulham guy's got some good tricks. That'll definitely be in the end, uh, the skill, the skill move high, uh, high reels. Yeah, I got it wrong, uh, it's in 18 minutes, uh, got 21 minutes left. Oh, good strike.
Oh, he's carrying on. Oh, what a ball from Trent. Come on! Yes! Please tell me he's on side. He is! Yes! Get in, Salah! Get in, Salah! Mo Salah! Mo Salah! Running down the wing! Salah, 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 the Egyptian king. Oh, that's it. One more goal. Come on, lads. What a ball from Trent. What a ball. What a great ball from Trent. Nice little link up there between Trent, Darwin and Salah. Right, two all. Come on, Liverpool. Nine more minutes to go. Yeah, we're going to the mass 18, so nine more minutes to go. Come on, we need these three points. Now go clearance, Trent. Ah, uh, the Fulham manager is gutted. It's absolutely gutted. Oh, Henderson, what are you doing? Just, just get rid of it. Come on, Salah. Come on, Salah. Get there. Get there. Oh, nice, Salah. Good tricks. Oh, oh Miller's got it back. Nice, Miller. There. I think that food ball was meant for Salah, but Elliot blocked it. Nice Matip. Of course he'll give a fucking free kick, wouldn't he? Oh, trying to do a roulette there. Nearly. Come on. Oh, Sally, get a better food ball, me. Come on, six minutes. Come on, guys. Need another goal. Nah, oh, it was going to be a nice ball, but it's all right. Now 
Nice. Good 2-1 pass in there. That's it. Nice. Come on. Come on, Harvey. Oh. Good move from Harvey Elliott again. Why did Milner fucking cross it in? No, it's going to give a free kick. Why did Milner not cross it in? Nice, come on Darwin. Nice, keep going, keep going. Oh, I, I think Fulham now are, are starting to die. They just die for anything now, Fulham. The players are starting to die. Get a free kick or offside. Are you always this focused? Lol. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Can be a little bit focused now and then. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's it's now in the two minute um, section. So, um, yeah, sometimes I just can't think what to say. I just lose what to say. Um, <laughs> well, one minute left. Whether extra minute time. Come on, Liverpool. <laughs> How is the game? Um, it's 2 all at the moment. It's 2 all. It was a 1-0 to Fulham, then one all to Liverpool, and then... Van Dijk gave a penalty, making it 2-1 to Fulham. And then Salah scored, making it 2 all. Um, But so far, it's just now 2 all, And it's like just coming into uh, injury time, extra time. And it's... Let's have a look. 
Uh, as I say, how many uh, extra time yet? Okay, for some reason it hasn't said extra time yet. Oh, there we go. Five minutes extra time. Come on, Liverpool. Go on some support in Liverpool. That's what got the Liverpool shirt on. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, Liverpool. Let's get one more goal. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Oh, good recovery, Matip. Good recovery, but poor pass again. All right, come on. Get the ball up the field. Come on. Vamos! Up the ball! Get the ball up the, up the, up the uh, field! Let's go, let's go! Oh, unlucky Van Dyke looking for Salah. He kept it in, he kept it in, he kept it in. Shut your mouth. Right, come on, quick throw, quick throw! Come on, Salah! Oh, Matt have just got skilled. Oh, uh, cause a full and play start to go down. Well, man, the match has been given to that. Uh, they got. The guy who scored the two goals, who scored the header and the um, and the penalty, he's been given man the match. It's now showing his uh, his first goal a header, which for me personally should not be the goal because there was a foul on Henderson, so that should have been disallowed and, sh and Liverpool should have got a free kick, and then um, and then then a penalty. Oh wow, full and can't fill a stadium. <laughs> Come on, try and quicker, mate. Here we go. Come on, Darwin. Here we go. Go on, Salah. Come on, Salah. Wow, substitution, just wasting time. Not always, no, 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 I don't always like rage watch it. It's just I'm passionate. <laughs> I'm just like very uh, passionate with me team. I'm just very passionate. Right, here we go. Come on. Let's get a go, boys. Come on. Get in the box. Get in the box. Oh, hit the bar! Oh, I hit the bar. What a strike from Henderson. It hit the bar. Oh, what a strike from Henderson. It hit the crossbar. What a strike. Oh, that would have been a goal of his career there. Oh, Trent, just get it in the box. Just hit the crossbar. What a strike from Henderson. What a strike from Henderson. No, it looks like it's going to end in 2 2, guys. It's going to end in 2 all. Now, 
Now the, goal, the goalkeeper is just now wasting time. All right, keeper, stop wasting time. Ref, you're going to book him? Ref, book him. That's wasting time. Wow. Come on. Right, go get the ball down there. Good, good, good. That's it. Full time, two all. Fair juice, fair juice to Fulham. They played a very good game. They played a very good game, Fulham. And so did Liverpool. There you go. First game of the season. It's a draw. Two all. Not a bad result. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, let's look at the uh, chat. Hey, what do you bros say? Fox sake, lol, just get it in. Yeah, that's what we say. Yeah, that's a, a very British thing to say. Lol, are you leaving after the game? Uh, no, but I am in work later. So you had a shot of tequila. Very nice. Um, I like to have a shot of uh, fireball uh, when Liverpool scores. I like to have a shot of fireball. <laughs> uh, so, so the game overall, I think it was a, a very, very... Um, Oh my! Oh, you're from Miami. I've been to um, Miami uh, in 2018. I went to uh, to Florida. I did uh, back in 23. I was in uh, Orlando doing a uh, Universal Florida um, Disney World was Disney World um, the Safari Park, and I actually did went to Miami. I went to the Miami Beach. I can really say, very beautiful beach uh, in Miami. Very beautiful. Um, no, I loved it. I uh, really liked it. Uh, Florida, it was a uh, really good. Um, Universal Florida, what a very um, in entertaining place to go to. Disney land world, world uh, was really good as well i actually did a mickey mouse impression in front of the um the mickey mouse costumes and the whole staff couldn't believe it i thought i was gonna get a job there <laughs> hilarious so the results of the game um i think it was like very good um i think fallen played really well um i think they deserve they deserved the penalty, but the first goal, no, because that was a free kick to uh, to Liverpool because it because Henderson got tackled. Uh, but they did play the defence quite well in the first half. Uh, the first half they did play the defence really well, but I think the second half the defence went a bit down, fallen. But Liverpool, I thought in the first half was a bit fifty fifty. Could have quite done better, you know. Diaz did have a very good chance, and yeah, Diaz did score in the first half, but um, scored in the first half, but uh, it was offside because uh, Robertson was offside. But if he was onside, uh, that would have been a goal. So yeah, but second half, uh, Liverpool were definitely better in the uh, the second half. Two great goals, one from Darwin and one from Salah. So two good goals there. A uh, little bit gutted it is a draw. I would would have liked to win, um, but like I say, both teams did very well. Uh, the man of the match was given to a Fulham player. Uh, I think my man of the match uh, for Liverpool. 
I'm going to have to put... I'm stuck between Diaz and Darwin. Because those two had a really good game. But... Uh, I'm probably going to have to say Dar uh, Darwin. Uh, no, this is my first time um, streaming a Liverpool game. This is actually my first time. Uh, this, this is my very first time. So... Um, um, I thought of, I thought about doing this for quite a long time, but um, uh, but no, uh, but now I've done it. So yeah, um, I'll be streaming these uh these Liverpool games if I am free, if I'm not in work or not, or if if the games on um national TV in the UK, like if it's on BT Sport or or Sky Sports uh or ITV or BBC, that's when I will watch them. Well, thank you uh, so much uh, for the positive comment there. Thank you uh, very, very much. <laughs> I mean, uh, thank you that I got a like, really, really um, good commentary uh, when I'm not focusing so hard. Yeah, uh, if uh, the focusing part is, is just that... Um, the focusing part is, is just that um, if I can't think of anything to say, or I just go into this like bit of a a, a silent mode, and I'm just like, yeah, let, um, just like uh, just just focus it. I I tend to do that. Nice. Yeah, I, I tend to do that with video games as well. When I um, I, I also Twitch stream uh, video games as well. Like I'm a massive video gamer as well. Uh, if I'm just so focused on a level, I can't think to say. I just sometimes go to silent mode. Yeah. So uh, back to the game. Um, uh, I don't know what I can't remember what Liverpool's got next, but I know they got Manchester United in. Um. Yeah, I I do um twit uh, game I do t a Twitch stream uh, games as well. Uh, if you go on my uh, YouTube channel, the LNW Entertainment Show, all my um Twitch streams are on that. I've like Twitch stream, you know, I've like done Final Fantasy Seven, Crash Bandicoot, um, Oddworld Abe's Odyssey, which is no is known as new and tasty, uh, Munch Odyssey, uh. Fighting games, you name it. So I've done a lot of um, Twitch streaming as well. <laughs> yeah, so, well, but this, this is going to be a new thing on my channel, ladies and gentlemen, is I am going to start... Um, doing this when i get time to watch uh liverpool games i will be like uh watching them so the so the ratings of the players allison i'll give him a 7.5 he was unlucky with the penalty he went the correct way robertson did quite well in the first half unlucky to be on offside but he did do most of the good plays, so I'll, I'll give him probably a 7.5. Virgil van Dijk uh, played really well in the first half, made some good tackles, but he did cause a penalty in the second half, so I'm going to have to probably give him a 7. Joe Matip had a really good first half, but in the second half he made some couple poor passes, especially the one that led to the penalty, so I'm going to have to give him uh, a 7 as well. Trent, um, first half. Um, Trent in the first half was alright. Um, he was alright. In the second half, he actually did more better. The first goal, because he didn't know, he wasn't, he was, the first goal happened because he was ball watching and 
he was just ball watching, so I had to give him probably a 7.3. Uh, then we had Henderson. I think he played really well. Um, a really good strike. Um, unlucky to hit the cross, but hit that. But made some few good plays. So I have to, I have to give him a 7.7. 7. Thiago is quite hard because um, sadly he was injured in the the second half so it would be quite hard to rate him but in the first half his, his passing was spot on and his defending was really good so I'm going to have to give him probably based on his first half performance an 8.3 uh, Fabinho had a really good first half made some good tackles second half well he got substituted but I think I'll give him an 8.1 um Firmino didn't really do much in the first half. A bit quiet in the first half. And second half, he was taken off very quickly. So it's quite hard to judge. But judging by his first half being a bit quiet, I think I'll give him a 6.5. Uh, Diaz had a really, really good first half. Made most of the opportunities in the first half. So I did better. So I think I'll give him... An 8.2. Uh, Salah was quite quiet in the first half. Didn't do much. Second half, yep, scored a goal. And he actually did some really good 2-1 to one passing and, and actually kept winning the ball back. So probably for me, for me him, I'd say an 8.1 for Salah. Darwin coming on the second half. I think he had a really good game in the second half and he actually scored a the first goal and made a couple of created most of the chances. So I'd give him a an eight point seven. Uh, Harvey Elliott uh, did some good passing, got the ball forward. Um, I'd give him a, probably an eight point two. Uh, the Fabio, uh, the new midfielder, don't had one really good strike. Um. Uh, I had a very good striker, but I didn't really see him do much. So I have to probably give him about a 7.8. But I'm ranking these out of 10, really, out of 10. But um, but if Liverpool hold higher performance um, out of 10. So the the first half, they, they did play some nice 2 to ones. Still scored a goal, but because of offside, but um, but they didn't really challenge the the Fulham goalkeeper really in the first half. The second half they were definitely way more better than the second half. Got two goals. This time put way put more pressure on the the goalkeeper. So all performance for Liverpool, I have to say, out of ten, I have to give them. Probably, roughly, I had to probably give him an 8.1. Probably an 8.1 performance. Uh, if it was Fulham's ranking, first half, I think they played really well in the first half. And they played defensively really good. Um... Uh, hmm. uh, um, they very good like pre pressure, good good pressure in the first half and the second half. They did concede two goals. The poor defender. They did let Liverpool attack more better in the in the second half. Uh, but I think for Fulham, how were they? Did, I think roughly the same as Liverpool at uh, eight point one. But in our performance, I think a very good, entertaining game. It was a. Like... But uh, out of all, um, but out of all, um, a good, entertaining game. I think it was good entertainment. Um, 
good play from both sides. There was not really any um, boring moments or or anything like that. I think that it was good for both sides. But anyway, put in the uh, the chat. Uh, what did you think of the game? Like, do you think Liverpool could have done better or anything that you probably would have changed? Like. Well, for myself, I don't know why... Oh, I forgot Milner. Yeah, fucking hell. Milner, he, he played. Um, he actually did quite well. Actually, I probably would have given him probably around, i say, an eight as well. James Milner, forgot all about him. But I don't know why Klopp took Diaz off. Because I felt like um, he did really well. So, I don't know... I, Get it? I get it. Like you don't want your best players injured, which I totally understand. You don't want your best players injured, but if it was me in the second half, I would have took Henderson off and would have kept Diaz. I would have played a whole, uh, striking up front, a, a whole tie attacking up front, but viewers in the comments uh, in the chat, they feel um. What rating would you give Liverpool or Fulham or um, all the players? Or what do you think uh, Klopp could have done uh, different in that game? Uh, feel free to put anything in the chat. Yeah, I agree, you know. Um and anyway, the improvement, um yeah, they're definitely improved because you gotta think about like they've lost um Mane to, to buy Munich. So that's a downside there, you know, they've lost um uh, they've lost, uh, you know, Mane to Bayern Munich. Jota is injured, so that's a massive um, blow to Liverpool. So, and not to mention, we've got a few new, we've got a few new players, the like of someone called Luke Chambers, uh, the Fabio player, Darwin. So, uh, you know, Diaz, you know, he's playing really well. So, obviously, we've still got to get Liverpool, still got to get used to the. The new players, the new formation, but it's still the first game, so um, so that is going to be interesting. Of uh, what is come? Well, <laughs> I can definitely, um, I can definitely um, range. If Liverpool, say, is playing really, really bad and they're making, like, loads of mistakes and just not playing well, oh, yeah, I can definitely uh, rage. People have definitely seen me rage quite badly. Um, on on Liverpool games, it's it's absolutely hilarious. Um, I think the worst match I have had with Liverpool was when we lost against, I think it was West Ham seven two. Um. Uh, <laughs> uh the the um. Um, when they lost seven two, when when Man United lost seven. Nil against uh, Tottenham, and then then we made it worse, losing seven two. That was like fucking. You know, I I actually gave up with that. <laughs> so 
So yeah, let's see uh, what the next um, Liverpool games are coming up. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Next Liverpool's game. <laughs> Here we go. Liverpool is playing uh, Crystal Palace um, on the 15th of August at 8 p.m. So uh, that's uh, going to be in very interesting. Let's see what uh, channel it is. Uh, let's have a look. Um, yeah, it will be on Sky Sports, so I'll be able to watch that and Twitch stream that. Oh, cheers. Zoom it out a bit. Yes, yeah, so... Um, yeah, so we've got Liverpool versus Crystal Palace on the um, the 15th of August. Uh, 8 o'clock kickoff. So I'll definitely be um, streaming that. And then... The 22nd of August, 8pm, we've got Manchester United versus Liverpool. So that is definitely a game I'll be definitely uh, Twitch streaming if I'm not uh, scheduled to work that day or not. But I'll definitely be uh, watching that game because I like it when uh, Liverpool uh, beats... Um, you can if you, um, uh, what, uh, you can if you, um, want to. <laughs> yeah, it could be my cheerleader or something like that, but just be careful, um, what you say in, in the chat, because obviously I don't want to get, uh, banned from Twitch or, or, or yourself, because... Like, I've seen it happen, um, some Twitch streamers, uh, uh, some Twitch streamers have been banned, you know, what some people have said on their, on their streams, so, um, but yeah, but, um, as long as it's, uh, well, not, like, too family-friendly, I'm uh, not really a family-friendly channel, I, I do have, like, um, you know, a mature audience only, but, um, yeah, but that's uh, fine. Yeah, now they're just showing the highlights of uh, Liverpool's two goals. But I think for me, though, it should be two, it should have been 2-1 to Liverpool because, like, I didn't understand why, why the fuck was there's no VAR. I, the massive criticism I've got for this, for the Liverpool following it, is why the fuck was there no um, a VAR on the tackle on Henderson? Because he clearly got tackled. Uh, Henderson did. He clearly got tackled. And he was on the ground. There was no stop for the game. It was, it, it was a carry-on. And... Um, and when it showed the replay he got tackled, you would think VR would check that, you know, was that a possible free kick? No, nothing. No VAR, no nothing. Absolute bullshit. So, uh, I think that's the only criticism I've got of the Liverpool-Fulham game is there should have been a VAR check that did Henderson um, got tackled. That is the only um, criticism I can give to that game. Huh. <sighs> 
well anyway, Klopp is um, giving his, um, his interview, but I'll probably watch that in the highlights. Um, let's see when now, like, um, uh, let's see, so where's Liverpool now on the lead? So Liverpool is third place at the moment, so the so the third place at the moment, Arsenal are first with three, with three points, they won yesterday. Uh, two new against Crystal Palace. So, so uh, so Fulham are second, and Liverpool are third. But here's the thing: if Liverpool got first place, then if Liverpool score three goals today with, um, uh, um. Uh, uh, if, if Liverpool um, got th the three points anyway, they would have been um, second place anyway with goal difference because um, Liverpool would have been just like one behind, one goal down behind um, Arsenal. So Arsenal would have been first. So really Liverpool needed to score like 3-0 or 4-0 to literally... Uh, to beat uh, to, to get first place over Arsenal. So the other games today we've got Bournemouth versus Aston Villa, Leeds versus Wolverhampton, um, Newcastle versus Nottingham Forest, Tottenham versus Southampton, and then we've got Everton versus Chelsea. If Everton wins today, that uh, that's gonna be embarrassing for me because like, <sighs> tricks as in football tricks. Do you play football yourself? I uh, do you play football yourself? Because um, I'm a I'm a footballer as well. I um, one of my hobbies. I actually do actually play football. I play. Uh, as a defender, I play like left back, centre back, but I can play a little bit of the midfield, a bit of the wing, and uh, a bit sometimes strike a ball. But more of a left mid, left back, I am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. Right, um, and then Sunday we've got Leicester versus Bradford, Manchester United versus Brighton, West Ham versus Man City. But I could just really see, I think, um, the Premier League this season, it's going to be another Liverpool versus Man City race. Because if you look at the team that Man City and um, Liverpool have, it's insane. But um, but tell you what though, Man City was so poor against um... Okay, pretzel. Okay. <laughs> um Uh, how long have been playing football? Um, since I was quite young, um, got playing football since I was like really young, like childhood, and then uh, got really into it into my teenage years. I used to play for a footy team uh, when I was a teenager, and then I um, left that team. But I just I play with uh, with friends of mine. Uh, just like friendly kickabout, and then now I um I'm a bit, I'm a footy coach myself. Um, training uh, help help to uh, train children um how to play football. So, uh, been doing that for like three years now, and 
and now I've joined a a, a charity uh, football team um, called um, Cheshire Autism FC. So, um, which we are a, a charitable team playing footy games for charity. So I would like you guys uh, to really support that uh, if you want to. Um, Cheshire Autism FC, uh, shout out to them. And uh, and if you'd like to guys to help help them out, it would be really nice. Like I played like um, Sunday gone and I caused a, the opposition's team to score an own goal by me being the right mid. But yeah, but... Um, but people say I've got a lot of good talent in football. I'm really good uh, reading the game and quite good uh, good in doing tackles as well. And then I get a good time in it. And I can make sometimes make very good passes. But uh, I would like to um, play for Liverpool. You know, like I would love to be... Uh, to play for Liverpool. Um, but... <laughs> but and uh, does any but does anyone think in the chat does anyone think um Fulham's goal uh should have been disallowed it? Do you guys think that Henderson uh was tackled? Yeah, so anyone in the chat, does anyone think that um, that Fulham's goal should have been disallowed? You know, was it a free kick or was it not a free kick? Uh, put your decisions that in the chat or comments, you know, like, do you think it should have been disallowed or should have been uh, not disallowed? But in my personal opinion, it should be disallowed because it was clearly a free kick. Don't know why no VAR. But um But improvers on Liverpool is like it's just a fast pace a little bit and there was just moments where they just did not clear the ball. Um there was like a couple of passes like uh but in their box which nearly led to goals. And yeah, and actually, I think Liverpool were very lucky it wasn't three two because um, Fulham's uh, right winger actually all on his own um, took a shot on the right side and it hit the post, nearly going in. Yeah, yeah, um, agree. There was like the first half was a bit sloppy. Yeah, there was parts there were a bit, um, slop. Uh, they were a bit sloppy. Um, I thought you know they they did give away the um, they did give away the um, the ball uh, a couple of times, especially in the back in the first half. And but I think like a, the main problem I just have a little bit with Liverpool is. Like if you look at sometimes like with, with Robertson and and Trent, is that sometimes they're nowhere to be seen in the left back and the right back, and yeah, like okay, yeah, we got a point. You know, a draw is good enough. Like we got the draw. You know, I think a draw is well deserved. I think how both teams played, definitely a draw. But uh, the problem is like it's like sometimes Trent and um, and Robertson sometimes are nowhere to be seen in the left back and right back, and sometimes they they give sometimes wingers so much space. I think I think Klopp needs to. Um, I think that's the only part I think Klopp needs to work on there. Is um, to look uh, looking into that, but uh, there was a couple of times a, a, a through ball was a bit poor. Like 
they had the right idea for a through ball, but um, it sadly it, it just did not got it just not work. But um, like I said, I gave Liverpool a rating eight point one, and uh, Fulham was an eight point one as well. They both had their uh, had their positives. They both had their um, the negatives, but put in the comments uh, what you thought of Liverpool's performance and uh, Fulham's performance. But it couldn't go on either way. It it could have been three two two to Fulham, or it could have been uh, three two to Liverpool. So really, it was it was either way for both of them. Really, like a really good close game. Well, I'll just give you guys a couple of minutes to see what you want, guys, to uh, say in the chat. Like, your opinions and stuff like that. All right, um, okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is now going to be the the end of my um, live streaming uh, of um, Liverpool versus uh, Fulham. Uh, like I said, it was a very entertaining game. Could have gone uh, both ways. But I'd like to say a massive thank you for anyone who uh, came onto my stream and uh watched and comment so thank you very much um coming on uh, thank you very much i do appreciate uh feel free to follow my uh twitch account or feel free to follow my uh tiktok account which is uh wingman345 feel free to check that out and also i'll be uploading uh this live stream to my youtube channel which is the the lnw uh entertainment show so feel free to check out my cha youtube channel as well uh, so I'll probably be, um, so I'll be, I'll be definitely uh, be streaming uh, Liverpool versus um, Crystal Palace on August fifteenth uh, if I am uh, free and not in work or anything like that. But feel free to comment and check me out again or, or anything like that. So I'd like to say a massive thank you to anyone who uh, came on and watched me today. So thank you very much for that. Yeah, so this has been uh, Patek Just Strong uh, watching uh, Liverpool versus uh, Fulham live. And uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day. And then I'll see you guys on August 15th. Right, bye.